Hello and welcome to the Furnace Core tutorial for F. D. Grain. F. D. Grain is used to remove grain from a single image. The aim of F. D. Grain is to remove as much grain whilst doing as little damage to the image as possible. D. Grain decomposes the image into a number of different frequencies and scales before attempting to remove the grain. The high frequency spectrum is isolated and processed using the small amount parameter and the low frequencies are processed using the large amount parameter. FD grain is only used to remove grain from a single image. If you require to remove grain and noise from an image sequence, please see the Furnace Core FD noise tutorial. Before you start the tutorial, you should download the relevant image sequences and scripts from the Foundry website. Once you have done this, please open the start here script and we can begin. For this tutorial, we're going to be using the actual smoke element and degraining it. If you look at this actual element, you can see that there's quite a lot of grain within the actual image and quite a lot of grain within the individual color channels. Now, I'm going to bring up the node now, and we'll use this using the actual tab function. And you can bring up the node whichever way you feel most comfortable. Now, as soon as you actually bring up the actual FD grain node, you'll see it only has one input. This is the source input. Make sure this is connected to the image you wish to actually degrain. When you attach the actual FD grain node, you'll see it has a on screen widget and a warning banner appearing, saying that the FD grain please position the analysis region over a flat area of the frame. Now this warning banner is actually telling us to position the actual analysis region over a flat area of the frame, which is from over here. And that's particularly important. Now this marks the region of the image used to analyze the grain and is used to set the internal degrain parameters automatically. Now it is important that this part of the frame contains no image detail and only grain as positioning it over a detail area will confuse the node and it will assume that the detail in the image is actual grain to be removed. And this will cause the image to actually blur and cause a ringing effect. So we have to actually move this to a flat part of the image where there is only grain and whatever is actually located within this analysis region is assumed to be grain and removed from the entire sequence. And as you can see, once we've moved this and just the size of this, the warning banner has been taken away and the actual degraining process on the single image has taken place. As you can see, a lot of the grain has already been removed. Now the next step in the process of degraining is to choose the correct color space for the image you are trying to degrain. We do this by selecting the original color space and the drop down parameters. Now you'll have a choice of Cineon, sRGB and Linear. Now, for this particular image, we know that this is an sRGB image. And as we change the parameter to this, we'll have to update again. Now, if you choose an incorrect actual color space, such as linear, when the original color space this is sRGB, it will actually perform a different type of degrain and an incorrect one, and it will lose a lot of the image data, as it sees grain and noise as changes in the luminance values in the entire image. So, we have to create the so the current and correct one which is sRGB and just give the node a quick second to update the viewer it's done it very very quickly so having the correct one is very very important so now we to the parameters of the degrain node and um, we've actually produced an actual degrain for a single image let's produce a render of this and we can compare the before and after if you look at the single image render, we can see we have removed quite a lot of the actual grain within the image while keeping the overall detail. If we look at a side by side of this now compared to the original, on the left hand side we have the actual original image with all the grain present and on the right hand side we have the actual F degrained image. As you can see there's quite a difference in the two and a lot of the grain has been removed and the overall detail of the smoke within the actual image has been kept in which is very important. If we look a little closer we can see there is still a little bit of the actual grain within the actual image and to remove this we have to adjust the actual parameters within the FD grain node back in Nuke. 
So let's go ahead and adjust these nuke 